out there is actually a sea of infinite potential and when we're putting out vibrations into the sea of infinite potential they reflect back to us they, they kind of bounce back to us and create our reality and this is how we timeline shit so welcome to timeline shift et contact day one <laughs> So this is something that's been kind of coming together for a while. I've been kind of racking my brains, working out like really what everything I did personally to initiate my own contact experiences, working out what's happening, kind of looking at why some people seem to be able to make contact and see ships a lot and other people don't. And really what we can do like the best to really accelerate extraterrestrial contact, accelerate open contact, not just for the for the fun and excitement of seeing the ships in the skies, which I'm sure a lot of us do, but I was just like, sat down there before like a, a hawker came and moved me on <laughs> trying to sell me something I think and looking at the kids play part down there and I was thinking oh my gosh I, I just saw I just saw a young girl looking kind of um, lost and shy you know like you're a little kid and there's all these kids you want to play with the other kids but you're really shy I was a bit like that I, you, you, it may be hard to believe these days <laughs> I think I got over my shyness pretty much but um yeah, and I, I was just think, God, isn't life on Earth such a challenge? Like, like we all go through this emotional turmoil, and so many people are at the minute. I see it a lot here in Lima. As you can imagine, a lot of ups and downs, and it seems we're going through like a huge shift on Earth at the minute. I think this is the shift we've all been talking of for a long time. It really seems to be on the way now, but it, it's a bit different. <laughs> like, in the old days, we all, we all thought there was going to be some event and we're all going to ascend into rainbow bodies and be bliss forevermore. It doesn't quite work like that. What tends to happen is um, we, we dredge up all our subconscious trauma, pain, negative beliefs, and it's a process of rewiring and re restructuring. So hopefully like first contact and open contact and the integration of extraterrestrials into our society can kind of give us a little bit of a buffer kind of like you know they will have healing technology i guess um technology that can alleviate, alleviate pollution te techniques to to alleviate suffering and like, perhaps like healing centers and help us develop like energy centers where we can create spaces in cities where we can create like energetic bubbles where people can it's kind of a bit of an energetic bubble here it's but kind of like a, a real a real savior because it can be quite tense walking around lima as you can imagine when you're highly energetically sensitive and so anyway to get to the point of like 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 I don't know, maybe, I don't know, where am I going? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I, I really truly believe, like, like, I've been really racking my brains, like, I've been watching, like, Joe Rogan podcasts, listening to, like, Commander David Fravor and um, Bob Lazar and all this stuff going on and watching the gimbal UFO video and the tick, tick, gimbal, funny, I've got, my, I've got my video on a gimbal, I guess that's why they call it the gimbal UFO, one of those CIA videos they release because it kind of stabilises, even though it's doing all these strange moves, like, and my gimbal just like, like keeps it all steady. And the Go Fast UFO, which I think is the Tic Tac, is the same thing. And I've been watching all this stuff and I've been getting frustrated as usual when I watch this because I'm like, why can't they just get it? All you gotta do is da 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 da. <laughs> so I calmed down a little bit and like getting a bit more constructive and like really thinking about like what we can do to make contact. And so, so I'm devising this new series of videos this new whole program i guess to enable us all to to like shift into a timeline where we are making open contact where where we accelerate extraterrestrial contact where we really use this 2023 phase that we're moving through at the minute which seems a big kind of fluctuation in the time space field where we can shift timelines to do everything we can to make contact with ets so just to talk a little bit more about the past <laughs> How, how this like all happened for me and like like it all started with doing the Dr. Stephen Greer CE5 meditation but over time I've come to like not totally resonate with Dr. Greer I mean I, I shouldn't have done for a long time because Dr. Dr. Greer doesn't believe in the greys and of course Bashar who I followed for a long time and the Yah Yell that I channel are actually um, like a, a hybrid species between the grey extraterrestrials and other us earth humans so I guess um, I've been kind of splitting timelines between Dr. Greer and he's getting very like conspiracy theory and, and negative and obviously I don't believe in that because I believe we create our own reality so, so I believe just like focusing on the positive as like airy fairy and that sounds it's like we really do create our reality within our own consciousness so why would we do anything other than focus on what we prefer so and, and also like I realized there was more going on 
than the, than the, to the CE5 meditation than perhaps even Dr. Greer realizes himself. The idea that we're actually creating our reality in our consciousness and actually shifting timelines, shifting through parallel realities like millions of times a second, and I'll, I'll get onto this a bit more in a minute, to actually shift to a timeline and shift to a reality and perhaps more accurately actually create within this dream consciousness, within this illusory reality that is just pure consciousness within our mind. Um, create a reality where extraterrestrial contact exists. I, was, I, I see a quote from Ramana Maharshi a few minutes ago and it said something like um, the, the, the delusion of belief that Earth is secondary, that the world is second, a secondary thing outside of us comes from the misperception that I can't remember what he said, I'm totally confused, but basically he said something like, um, you know, the, the, the world is, everything is just consciousness. You know, the, the world is not something that's out there. I talk about this a lot. The world is not out there. We don't exist in the world. The shift into 5D, uh, the shift into fourth density, 5D ascension, this is the, this is the, it is the realization that the world we previously thought we existed in exists within us. So, so, this, is, so this is the part that perhaps Dr. Greer misses in his C5 meditations. The understanding that reality exists within us. It's just an illusion. It's just, it's all consciousness. Everything is consciousness. Everything is our consciousness, our collective consciousness. And we're creating this all through what we focus upon, through the vibrations we create, the vibrations emit. So what I came to understand through doing the CE5 meditation is I created my kind of own CE5 meditation because Dr. Greer wasn't sharing everything about doing the CE5 at the time. And what I was doing is was I was doing this visualization that I kind of created myself based on stuff Dr. Greer was saying where I would um, go into a meditative state, I, I would activate my third eye, my pineal gland, and I'll be sharing information on how to do this yourself in future videos. This is the beginning of a whole series of videos. And so what I was doing is I was, um, I was going into meditation, I was doing what's known as a third eye activation meditation to activate my pineal gland and release dimethyltryptamine, a chemical substance in our brain, which actually somehow gives us access to other dimensions of reality, like the idea is our third eye is actually literally another eye then we can use this to peer inwards into other dimensions into other into infinity into the infinite potential of reality and so I was doing this and I was activating my third eye during meditation I was beginning to see images of other worlds and other dimensions and this was tuning me into like what we might call cosmic consciousness and I, w I was able to um, from here begin to like communicate telepathically with the ETs on one level of looking at it but another way of looking at it is I was actually creating a reality within my consciousness where I was able to communicate with the ETs so, so I'm creating this as all as I go this is what we need to understand so what I was doing in the meditation is I was doing like the standard C5 meditation where I visualize after getting into the cosmic consciousness state and I'll teach how to do this in some of the later videos as part of the timeline shift activation meditation that I'm going to get a share to enable us to shift timelines and so what I was doing is I, I was going into this state of oneness, this state of unity consciousness, where I was connected to all of creation in the meditative state through activating my higher chakras, DMT, my pineal gland. And from here, I was visualizing, sending out like intention to ETs by, by visualizing the image of an extraterrestrial. I was visualizing the image of a gray extraterrestrial. Then I was visualizing a flying saucer. And then what I would do is I would visualize the Milky Way galaxy and send out the message like kind of through cosmic consciousness, through meditation telepathic through my heart through my third eye out into out into like out there which is really just my consciousness pulsing it out into the into the into the um the quantum field into into the quantum field of pure consciousness pure awareness which is actually infinite potential out there is actually a sea of infinite potential and when we're putting out vibrations into the sea of infinite potential they reflect back to us they, they kind of bounce back to us and create our reality and this is how we timeline shift and so, so I was visualizing the Milky Way galaxy and then like, I, was, I was visualizing like, like 
like grey ETs and then visualising flying saucers. So I'm creating this uh, in the field. I'm putting these vibrations, the, these visualisations, these energetic vibrations out into the quantum field, which is out there. What we actually perceive as out there is actually just our consciousness existing within us. And it's a field of infinite potential. This is the quantum field. And when we, when we project thoughts and ideas and frequencies and vibrations, well, we are actually just really projecting out there but it's actually really in here. We're projecting in here in this great infinite room of our consciousness. And so what I was doing when I was... See, see, see Dr. Stephen Greer taught that when we visualise the, the grey ETs, or, or, or <laughs> I don't think he says we visualise grey ETs, because he didn't even believe in grey ETs, and, um, but visualise like the ETs and visualise the shits, he, he believes what is happening, as I understand it. I mean, I'm sure he has some idea that we're creating our reality. Um, you wouldn't believe it by all the negative stuff he focuses upon, but anyway, that's another story. And um, so, 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 so from the idea of Dr. Greer's C5 meditation, hello kitty, hello kitty, there's all these wild cats here that people feed and they're really healthy and really happy. Hello, are you an ET? Are you from Sirius? Got no food, sorry. And, <clears throat> and um, yes, yeah, so what, what, what traditionally, like when you do the C5 meditation, you, you would believe that you're visualizing a grey ET, then you're visualizing a flying saucer. And what you're actually doing is, is you're telepathic communicating with a great ET or a flying saucer out there in the universe somewhere. And then you're inviting them into this reality. And there's kind of some reality to that because that's the experience we have. But that is just the experience. It's the experience of physical reality that's real. But what's actually happening when I was visualizing the image of a great ET and the Im image of a flying saucer is I was creating them within my consciousness. So I was putting out these thoughts into the quantum field. And I was creating this within my reality. And so, so I wasn't telepathically communicating with ETs out there. What I now understand I was doing is, is I was creating within the quantum field. I was putting out vibrations out there into the universe, which is actually in here in our consciousness. And I was creating through interacting with the quantum field, a timeline where where I was manifesting grey beings and flying saucers through visualising them. And so, 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 what, so, so, so I started to have, I had a spate of three UFO sightings, which I talked a lot about in the past, so I won't go into here, which started my journey of extraterrestrial contact. And then a few months later, I came across the teachings of Bashar, channeled by Daryl Anker. And so what I realised was I actually created Bashar within my consciousness. <laughs> it sounds a little bit egotistical, but that's what's occurring. Like I was, was visualising like a great ET, a friendly great ET, so much and then lo and behold like months later I manifest this channeled telepathic communication from a from a channel called Bashar that uh, was a great ET so I now understand what actually occurred was I actually through the visualization and putting out these frequencies into the quantum field which is actually our consciousness which is actually our infinite self-mind uh, within our consciousness and I created this reality where I had UFO sightings from grey ETs, but I didn't actually see them at the time, but I guess that was what was happening. Although technically it didn't, because what's happening is just what we see. So all I created was the UFOs, perhaps I get into that a bit more. So basically, like what we're doing when we're doing the CE5 meditation is we're not actually communicating with ETs and inviting them in. We're actually creating them within our consciousness. So another way we're looking at it is we're shifting through many parallel realities and shifting timelines to a timeline where they exist. So I created all the ETs that appeared, I created Bashar, and the same way you create everything you experience it's not just not just unique to me i'm not like some superhuman we all create our reality within our consciousness according to what we focus upon this is the idea of the law of attraction and this is the basis of what i am terming the timeline shift et contact program so more videos to come guys this is the introduction this is day one i believe now it, is, it must be coming up to about midnight in the uh, uk and europe of May the 11th, which is exactly six months prior to 11-11, the famous gateway shift day where we shift parallel realities dramatically, November the 11th, 11-11, a very powerful gateway day. So, um, so this is the beginning of the timeline shift ET contact program. I'm just giving you a bit of background information and coming very soon is day 
whatever date it will be and I will get, share some information on actually how to begin shifting timelines to a timeline where ET contact because when we understand that we create our reality within our consciousness and much more when we understand we create it collectively we have incredible power to actually create realities and timelines that will actually blow your mind you know if I can create flying saucers and Bashar in my reality within a few months imagine what we can really create imagine what timeline we can skip to of ET contact when we really get a handle of this so see you on on day whatever I make the next video of timeline shift ET contact train also click the link below I'm creating a Facebook group where we can bounce off each other and, and really help you get your head round and this and come together to decide what timeline we want to shift to so while I don't want to be telling you guys what timeline to shift to so click the link below if you're on Facebook and, and join up the Facebook group the timeline shift Facebook group see you in there guys Shivai